Good evening, folks. I am Joe Bachman, and this is Behind the Code. We are back this week. Uh, for this week, I am going to try and get two profiles set up tonight. Uh, we have uh, Matthew Krecke, who uh, most of you will know that name from Nick's show, never mind the furthermore. He generally pops in uh, later on in the show, into the chat. Uh, but he is a new author that has signed up. And we are also going to be doing Ted Tiller's uh, profile tonight. So let's go ahead and get Dawn up here and get the screen added in and bring us down to the bottom. And let's get a little bit of music playing. Uh, tonight we are going to open with uh, something a little different than usual. We're going to be doing... Uh, songs from master boot record and we're gonna play from the we'll go the floppy disc album uh master boot record can be found on bandcamp at masterbootrecord.bandcamp.com and uh they are a group out of italy if i remember correctly so with that we're just gonna hop into track number one of theirs ANSI.SYS Because I just figured doing songs from a group called Master Boot Record that has all their track titles labeled as various uh, you know, computer file names and stuff. What's that, Don? Technological? Yes. Uh, it's just kind of fitting for the show. That was a very big word for me. But we will also be playing music later on from Dan Hollifield. Uh, probably going to play something from his album. Uh, we'll probably play something from Second Helping from Dan later on. And uh, you can find all Dan's links at ndcd.org slash about hyphen Dan hyphen Hollifield. So... Awesome. See, you're sitting on the dashboard. How have, how have things been looking in the Indie CD world? Well, uh, this week, it hasn't been too bad. Um, we have had... Let's see here. Click on this. It should take me to the actual seven day. So in the last seven days, we've had 22 visitors to the site and 108 page views. Mm -hmm. Um which is actually, I think mean, that's pretty good. So, uh, there is a way. Let's see. Just looking over the last few months since the beginning of the year. Uh, looks like we had 57 visitor, visitors in January, 76 in February, 72 in March, and we're at 33 for April, and we're halfway through April, so we're on track to... Get up there in the 60 70 range sweet thank you to and everybody that shares and talks about the the creator independent creators directory dot org mm -hmm. <laughs> and for but, the year so far we've had 238 visitors with 1180 page views now I'm liking the page view count because last year we on, we had 2,596 page views for the whole year. So that means we're getting people we're getting more clicks per visitor right now, which hopefully will in turn mean more money for the members of the site. Yes, more traffic for them on their sites and more views from them and everything. So keep sharing, you know, it's, it's the directory. It's everybody helping everybody else. It's awesome. Yep. Yay. But with that, Dawn, I will let you take over the comments. I am monitoring the comments on Kick. Okay. Oh, so. we have kick, kick. <laughs> We had some Kicksters. <laughs> Kickers? <laughs> Kicksters? I wasn't sure how to say that, but you know. So, we ready to get get to getting? Yep, go ahead and get to getting. It's it's gonna be a long night, I can tell. <laughs> so first in the door was Dan. Good evening, Dan, and some guy named Joe is here. Hi, some guy named Joe. 
He's a weirdo. I know. Very weird. Just a little. <laughs> Dan is hoping that everything is going well. Carl's joining us, and he said good evening, Dan and Joe. And Dan is greeting Carl. And Carl said that he had a humbling experience just now. One of the oh. cats. One of the cat boys ran into my office, looked around, saw me, didn't see his brother, and took back off. Ouchie. Well, apparently he wanted to play with kitty cats. Don't let it hurt your feelings too bad. I almost screwed up right from the start. Let's try that again. Okay. You would have caught it. And Carl said, I'm sure he was looking to play, and I looked boring. You're not a cat. He can't, like, bite you without you going, ow. He can bite one of his brothers, and they just bite back. Now, maybe if you bit your cat, your cat's back. Never mind. And Foxy's here. She says, evening. And Carl is greeting Foxy. And Foxy said, sounds like a cat, Carl. Time for hyper, not cuddles. Mm-hmm. Carl said, it's cool. I already played laser chase with them all earlier. A couple of them are sacked out now around the house. Aw. Uh, I saw that they, the boys were saying uh, no to you washing your hands. Carl, I hope that you did get your hands washed. I'm just saying. And Foxy said, laser chase. It's fun. Yes, it is fun. You should see Georgette when we get her going. She just is freaking adorable. She's finally let little bit less mean to me now or uh, mad at me for her shots and Donna is saying hey everyone and Carl's greeting Donna and Foxy is greeting Donna and Carl said these love cats love to chase the light up and down the stairs and charcoal likes to do parkour off the hallway wall we don't deserve cats we don't deserve animals we're too, I, I Foxy had said something earlier today about everybody liking the kitties and they're more of dog people but animals in general we don't deserve so and foxy said and dan and anyone else i may have missed and foxy said that thesis will be here shortly and thesis said hello to dan joe carl and donna and carl's returning the hello and donna said Whew, had to plug the fan in we did yesterday i took it out of the window today but we did have it in last night or yesterday and Dan said, sorry, went to the fridge, and when I came back, Foxy, Thesis, and Donna had arrived. It was a magic trick, Dan. <laughs> and Carl said, yes, it got warm today. Yes, it did. It was, last time I looked, it was in the 80s here in central Illinois, so. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know what it got up to here. Yeah. I, I turned on the AC yesterday, so. Not doing that yet. I'm not turning the AC on. <laughs> And Donna said, it's almost time. Don't forget to like and share, folks. Yes, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, to everybody here. Because why should only you have to suffer through this insanity? Suffer? I enjoy every moment of it. You really need to have your uh, head checked there. Well, yeah. <laughs> and Michaela's joining us. Hello, Michaela. She said, hey, friends. And Donna and Carl are greeting Michaela. And Dan said the long haired cat came in and Lindsay got bit by a fire ant that hitchhiked in on his fur. Ooh, ouchie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel for Lindsay. Ooh. So does Donna. She said that she hopes that she's okay. And Carl said, ouchie. And Donna said, it's Joe. Better than it's not Joe. <laughs> That's debatable. Yeah. Not Joe's not as fun. And Carl said, oh yeah, Matthew, cool. Yeah, he usually pops in right towards the end of the show. So I know he was at a signing. Because he does have a newsletter. And I am signed up for that newsletter. So make sure if you guys, once this is done, go see if you can find where to sign up for his newsletter. And Nick's uh, joining us. He says, hello all. Hello, Nicholas. And That's one thing I don't think he added in here was the link oh. for his newsletter. Huh. Hell? Huh. Hmm. 
Did you jot that down as a note? Not yet. But he does have a review from our very own Brian K. Morris. Awesome! I'm just jotting that down here. Because I'm, su I'm assuming there is somewhere along the way that you would have some, some place that somebody can put to, hey, I have a newsletter, sign up for it. Oh, yeah. So... Okay. Definitely. And Dan goes, yes, just asking why such creatures became necessary in the universe, because you can't have the good without the bad. Because you gotta have the facts of life. The facts of life. And Carl said, and Ted, that sounds familiar. Ice cream man. Or thing. <laughs> and Joe Dog McKeel is joining us. Hello, Joe Dog. He said, breaking Holocaust news. Well, sort of. <laughs> Carl is greeting Nick and Joe, and Bladed is greeting Nick, and Joe is just saying howdy to everybody. Donna's saying hi to Nick and Joe, and Donna's saying, it's me, or it's Dawn, it's me. Yeah. And Carl goes, and Dawn, and Joe Dog. Thank you, Carl. And Grant is joining us. Hey, don't forget, after the show tonight, there is a Grant Draws. Mm hmm Um... Which is why I'm going to work fever feverishly to get this done as quickly as possible. Hold on here, I'm bringing up a few. <laughs> Paste and... So there is Grant's link. I just dropped it for ICD for the Independent Creator Directory. And on there, you can actually find links to his YouTube page. But if you have that link, Grant, go ahead and drop it. And Thesis and Donna are greeting Grant. And Grant is greeting Thesis and Donna and Carl and me. And Thesis says, and of course, hello to the lovely Dawn. Oh, thank you, Thesis. Sorry, I just got really thirsty. <laughs> I don't and judge. Dan said, not everything needs to be about me, Joe. LOL, I like music. I didn't write, too. Well, thank you, Dan. Hmm. Yeah, but you're a member of the site. They're not. Therefore, you get priority. True. Hmm. And Grant said, I have a question for you guys. During Grant Draws Night, would you rather I paint board game minis or color a cover for the Beowulf Tray Pack paperback? My vote would be the color of the cover for Beowulf, Beowulf because I love Beowulf, but we know this. So, um, and Carl said, oh, hey, Grant, and he says Beowulf, too, also. And Thesis says, I like music I didn't write, but I do enjoy hearing something I wrote and played, too. And it, it kind of, you like looking at your artwork, but you also like looking at other people's. It's the same concept, I would assume. George Dog says... <clears throat> Holocon special guest announcement tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time all across all, or, all across or social media accounts. This guest is an amazing film actor and voice actor in many popular animated series and movies. Tune in. It's awesome. I'm excited. And Donna's like me. She voted for Beowulf. So, three Beowulfs. But Dan said, Grant, whichever one you feel best about. And Donna said, wow, that's great, Joe. And Trey's joining us from the side of the road. Broadway? Uh, hold on. Let me get back to that screen. Uh, oh, from the side of the road. Uh, no, the... Where you the hell are you working at tonight? Are you back out on out by Calumet or... No, this should be, uh... No, not Hawk. Uh, I can't remember the name of the contractor. They're doing the, uh, I think, the way in motion in the ITS wiring tonight. So she's out on main. She's out on the main line interstate. So she's not on Broadway. That's a good thing. But she is playing nighttime Frogger. 
Yeah, I'd rather have her on Broadway because it's easier to dodge uh, bullet shots than it is uh, vehicles sometimes. And next. <laughs> Cross up very cool, Joe Dog. Hey, Trey. And. Uh, I, oh, uh, I'm sorry. And yes, that, that is excellent news, Joe Dog. I'm. My brain is about 50,000 places tonight, so please forgive me. <laughs> He's got con coma is what I call it. Joe Dog probably does. There was a lot of people at cons this weekend. Holy cow. Oh, let's see here. Madonna said, no, Don. Carl cannot bite his pussy. Okay. Right. For that. Oh, and there is my dad, Dr. Dale, Dr. Doulis. Did you and your sister ever bite? I would say that yes, we probably did, to be honest. The little cat fights we got in that you all didn't know about? I'm pretty uh, sure. Yeah. I'm going to be good and leave that alone. We didn't get along. <laughs> Uh, he says is saying hey to Trey, and the Dork Cave is joining us. That is Ted. So, hello from the Dork Cave too. He's actually in the cave. I can hear him in the cave doing Legos. <laughs> and he says, uh oh, the doctor is in the house. <laughs> and Dan is saying hi to Dad, and so is Donna. And Donna said, hey, the Dork. <laughs> Uh, what was the next thing? Conventions, that's right. Uh, and Carl saying hi to my dad and to my boyfriend. Why do I feel like I'm taking over your show tonight, Joe? <laughs> Someone needs to take it over because I'm just sitting here just scrolling through, uh, you know, different things I got to pull up. So, mm -hmm. And Joe Dog is subscribed. Sorry, I had to do that. Subscribed. Subscribed. That's what he said. And Ted said, if I don't respond right away, I am probably working on the display. Probably. And Grant said, okay, cool. I'm going to work on the Beowulf cover tonight. Awesome. Yay. And Dad said, 69 right now from South Central Minnesota. Of course, it's 69 degrees in Minnesota. Nice. And my dad's going to say that it's 69 degrees. Of course. And all I can say is, nice. Because why not? <laughs> Dan's calling, I'm assuming my father a braggart? And Nick said, <laughs> yeah, the lady's here. He said, Ted of the Nine Volt. Um, Sadie, I'll tell you about that one. Tell you about that one later. <laughs> and if you don't know, you should have been in the green room last night. <laughs> And Michaela is saying MJ Books also reviews comic books and graphic novels free until December. Send them to mjbooks at gmail.com. Nice. Sweet. And uh, my dad is saying hi to Ted, me, and everyone else. And there is the about link for Grant, who will be doing, like I said, Grant draws after this show. And he said, thank you for promoting my show. You're welcome. I try to promote as many people as I can. I know so many great people. So if I don't promote certain people, it's not because I don't want to. I just, there's so many people. There are, like I said, this weekend, I said nine on my post that I knew that was at cons. And thinking about it, I think that number was closer to 15. So it was awesome. You guys, there was a busy weekend. And he's creating the page in StreamYard as we speak, and he will post the link shortly. Awesome. Um, HTM. To get your books reviewed, I will be posting more this week. I'm um, guessing that was supposed to be how to get your books reviewed? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. And I'm not going, is that a, a something I... I uh... There's so many shortcuts I don't know. Mm -hmm. And Carl said, cool, Michaela. That's cool that you're going to be posting more reviews, too. I look forward to seeing them. 
and Trey is at 80.94 at mile marker 7.4. Still waiting on Hawk. Well, okay, so to... it, is, it is Hawk tonight. Okay. Well, if you happen to see Gareth or Marcus, say hi to them. And if you get that joke, I'm very proud of you all. <laughs> um, and Nick said to be safe, Trey. And there is the link. So if you guys want to watch Grant Draws after Behind the Code, that's the link to follow. And Grant is greeting my father. And Nick said, Joe is just pulling up what is needed. Oh, 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 oh. And Don, I said, <laughs> I didn't get room, green roomed over my pussy comment. Everybody <laughs> gets one, Donna. Everybody gets one. You want to be green roomed? I'll green room you. <laughs> anyway. And Nick is saying, nice, Dr. Doolis. And Carl said, you escaped, Donna. Barely. He's coming to bite you now. Uh-oh. How am I missing that? Something caught my eye, so I have to behave for a bit. Uh, Michaela says, I'm working on writing with my writing partner tonight to get pieces ready for print now that it's off of Amazon. Awesome. Scars is the one I already have. Pieces is the next one, so... I need to get caught up on my Michaela books. And Dan said, window open and liked, like added Grant. Thank you, Dan. And Donna said, well, waiting on Hawk. Will Spencer be there too? So that wasn't the same reference that I had, but it was another Hawk. <laughs> okay, we got to behave. Hi, Alec. Long time no see. It's good to see you. I hope everything is going well, and I hope that you are catching up on your homework. Um, Alex said, I opened the stream to that comment, Donna, and then immediately closed it. Ha! Anyways, back to school I go. I was breaking sticks against a pole in the backyard earlier. Big sticks. Well, I hope you're doing well. And so you do are. I. You are thought of. We were actually just talking about you, making sure you were okay, because we hadn't heard from you. So it's nice that you checked in. But keep up on that homework. I had to be. I had to do the mom thing. They just give him the look. I had to give him the the, the Viv look. By the way, Dad said I did a really good job of it. So, Alec, this is the Viv look. To get caught up on your homework. And Lisa said, "There's a reason I tried to talk through everything. I was on was doing my journal making video. Otherwise, it would be quiet for forty minutes with the occasional colorful word thrown in." <laughs> we all know those type of colorful words. <laughs> uh, I'm a, I am a sweet, innocent, you know, person. I wouldn't know what those words are. Full. Not buying it, huh? Nope. Mm -mm. That's fair. Nope. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have enough money to buy that, even if I was a millionaire. And Alex said, yeah, behave. Yeah. <laughs> so those that are new to um, the broadcast, Alex is, um, has ears that should not be hearing bad things, naughty things, and otherwise very adulty things. Yeah, we if Alex Alex is in the room, we try to keep it semi PG thirteen to fifteen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> try. Sometimes we fail miserably. A whole lot of <laughs> times we fail miserably. Let's be honest with ourselves here. But we try. We really do. And Alec is saying hi to Thesis, and Carl is greeting Alec, and Nick said, "I hope you are well, Alec." And uh, Foxy is saying, hey, Alec, good to know you're doing better. Good. And Donna is giving Alec big hugs. And Lathisa said that people have been asking about you. And Grant's greeting Alec. And Alec said, Lamau, love that look. Motivates me to get caught up. That's the look that used to, I used to get from my mother. And my father, who is there, D.R. Doulas, he is saying that I do a really good job at it. Lord knows I had it, that look enough towards me as a child. <laughs> what do you mean as a child? You probably still get it on a daily basis. You just can't see it through the phone. Probably, I was just going to say, I probably still get that. And Nick said, stay motivated, Alec. 
And Dan said that, that, that Alex, that Dan said that Alec, that look scares me too. And Donna goes, even Aunt Donna behaves herself when her sweet Alec is around. Yep. And Michaela did a thing. Wait, you hear what thing her thing is. And Alex said that um, he that he's been doing okay. I figured out I'm stronger than I realized, but thankfully it was sticks and not people. Well, I mm. totally get that. We're here for you, Alec, if you ever need us to. And Foxy said sticks are great for that. And you're friends with people that know how to do things with these sticks that can help you get that whatever it is out so um and alex said yeah those were ones these ones were on the verge of being logs Ooh. and carl said a thing and michaela said as if the world of roguestone wasn't rich enough with stories it's about to add a ya series for the kids the, the for the kids are growing up oh, awesome you know what's awesome about that is that alec Kid get introduced to Rogue Stone now too. Awesome! And uh, Foxy said, "Nice, get that frustration out." And Dan said, "Thing one or thing two? Bluefish, redfish." And Nick said, "That sticks and wood splitting are good stress vents, Alec. Good." So I am caught up on on uh, comments for right now. Did you want to run an ad, Mister Bachman? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, because I actually just finished Matthew's uh, page. Awesome. So we're at a good pausing point, and let me pause the music, and we will play a couple of different ads. Uh, first ad we're going to play is Foxy's. Hi, I'm Auntie Foxy, and I'm a crafting addict. I make custom jewelry from recycled materials, and Foxy has wares if you have coin. You can find me at ndcd.org slash about dash anti dash Foxy. I hope to see you there. Okay, so I, I was thinking about this earlier when listening to her ad, and I absolutely love this ad, when she she goes, and I am a crafting addict. I, I almost want to just respond like I'm in the middle of some kind of, you know, AA-type meeting going, hi, Auntie Foxy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what step are you on? <laughs> oh, that is it all. I, I saw that this morning. Uh, never mind the furthermore. I love that ad. Congratulations. Yes. Foxy. The ad is great. The music is great. And we lo I look forward to seeing more of your work get put up on NDCD. And you do beautiful, beautiful work. So, But up next, I think we will play... We'll play this ad. Welcome, friends. I'm Bladed Thesis, and this is my tea house. Come join me every other Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time as we discuss Chinese culture history, philosophy, and of course, martial arts. You can find me at youtube.com slash B-L-A-D-E-D-T-H-3-S-I-S. Pull up a chair, grab a cup of tea, or the drink of your choice, and join the discussion. All right, and we will get back into this. We are going to switch over to some of Mr. Hollifield's music. And we are going to play, uh, we'll go track number two of Second Helping, New Orleans Mud. Okay. And his music comes in a little bit quieter, so we'll turn that up just a touch. Okay. And... You know, I have come across Matthew's books on a couple, like you get the, the uh, list of, these are people doing free books this month. Mm -hmm. 
and I have come across a couple of his books. So keep an eye when you see those emails that to download those. I have those on my Kindle. I'm excited about that. Yeah, on one of his Amazon books, I think it's the Origins prequel. Mm -hmm. Um. I want to say it's that one that on the actual Amazon page itself, he actually had the link to be able to get it for free all the time instead of the 99 cents through Kindle. Run! Run! Don't walk! I mean, click! Fast! <laughs> well, after the show. <laughs> so, I need to add him before I forget to a couple of different categories which I'm getting so many people now I gotta go three pages over just to be able to see my categories again hey that's a bad problem or that's a good problem to have exactly I'm gonna go ahead and pick up on chat uh, what huh? hold on Okay, it's all there. Why is it not all there? I feel like you're talking about me. I'm all there, but I'm not all there. Well, I just went to the author's page, and the only one that was showing up on the screen that you guys could all see was my mom's page. But if I go to actualindycd.org, like the, you know, I'm visiting it, it shows everybody. So, we're going to try this again, authors. Oh no. You did not do this to me. Let's take a look at revision. Do you want me to hold off on comments till you can kind of let us know what's going on, or? Oh, uh, no, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and, uh, go to the comments. That's fine. So, Michaela says, so as of January, there will be Rogue Stone Elites, Rogue Stone Protectors, and Rogue Stone YA. Awesome. Look forward to that. Keep us in the loop of what's going on with it. Ian Carl said that Matthew looks so young in that photo. <laughs> and I don't know why this didn't come up, but there is... I'm going to have to do it under here because there is uh, Foxy's link for uh, Indie CD. And Dan said, yay, good for you, Michaela. It's awesome shifting it into forward. And Donna said, very nice ad, Foxy. And Carl goes, wow, that's more than we've ever heard Foxy say at one time. Nice ad. She is quiet when it comes to talking. She's really good at typing. <laughs> uh, but uh, that was, and she has a very pretty voice. And Trey's like, I love you. And Thesa said, it turned out pretty well, didn't it? Yes, it did. And Dan goes, ooh, Foxy's voice sounds invigorating. It does. It's very pretty. I like it. And Ted, to the addict response, says, I'm a Lego Lego Star Wars building addict. Lamau. Yes, he is. And Alex said that he loves Foxy's voice as well. And there. Ooh, hold on here. All right, we'll you have an issue. Actually, ate the entire thing. It ate it. I think so. Their thesis is about. Oh. And and in non. So all the authors are gone or just off of the setup page? Just their links are all gone. I can, all, all the pages are still there. I just might have to redo the entire damn 
page. Yeah, that's going to make me do, redo the entire damn page. Are you serious? Nick, what'd you do? I'm just teasing, Nick. Let's see. Okay, now they're all, sh well, mostly all showing up again. Oh. Gotta love technology. No, no, I don't. I don't want to sign to do this to me. And Foxy wants to remind us that, or Carl at least, that she does have a voice. And he says a pretty voice too. And there is Dan's about page on DCD, which will have the links to Bandcamp if you wanted to purchase. You need the music from Dan. And Dan, isn't there a specific day of the month where it, it works out for your pocketbook a little bit more? Let us know in the chat. Foxy said, I just save it for important things usually. Alec is here, not the green room. And then Thesis said, see, I told you you have a beautiful voice. He was right. And Dan said, I like that song. I hope so. It's your song. Uh, Foxy said, like most people, I don't care for my voice recorded, but I'm glad to be well received. I'm more used to mine. I think my voice has changed in the past 10 years. I'm not as squeaky as I used to be. Um, just gonna leave that alone no you're not you you need to comment on that come on no i can't because alec is in the room therefore friday i cannot night. friday night mm -hmm. uh thesis said that and he like and he like worries i worry that and like always i damn it nick okay and like always i worried that my guitar would sound out of place but people seem to enjoy it it fit in with the outs very well. Honestly, especially with the with Foxy's, it sounded like a jewelry and music. I, it made sense. Foxy said, nicely mellow, unlike everybody here. And Carl goes, it shows up here, Joe. Uh, shows up there for now. There we go. Let's restore... This version so what I'm doing right now is I'm testing to see if it's just an issue with uh, uh, yeah that um, Microsoft Edge being dumb or if it's something else and if it's something else I may have to figure out how oh, you piece it junk Well, oh, sure Tell me a piece of junk again, Joe. Oh, that's not the right revision. Urgh. So this thing... <laughs> this thing is going nuts at this point. Is this one of those times you just close it and go... Well, I can't say because Alec is here and then just reopen it and hope that for the best... Not that I've ever done that. Ever. Ever. Well, it's, I don't know why it's doing it, though, is the thing. That's the part I don't get. Okay, so now it's back to that version. That's at least something. Alright, so... I am going to have to come back to adding him to that page at a later time. Once I figure out why WordPress has decided to be the way it's being. You know, okay, so what is, I'm just going to say this. that One of the things that's nice about this show is a lot of times people are like, just, just do it. And sometimes you can't just do it on the computer and things like to do its own thing and you have to dig and figure out what's going on. So... Maybe this gives people a little bit more background of... 
it's doing it to all of my uh, pages. So I got more than just Grant under the comic writers. Okay, there's a WordPress issue. Awesome. Go ahead and uh, continue on with comments if you'd like. Okay. <laughs> Well, Dan, we're going to start with a nice uh, risque comment. Dan said, Foxy, your voice in the ad raised a bit more than the hair of, on the back of my neck. And I don't admit that to many ladies, at least not in public. <laughs> and Foxy is blushing. I bet she is. And Dan said that he does have that effect on women, yes. I need a shoulder rub, Dan. Just staying and donna said foxy i don't have to not like my voice i've actually been told my voice scares children do we need to 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 you know um team up and go find somebody that never mind and foxy said uh oh the tech gods are angry and Dan said, Donna, your voice can only scare naughty children and the boys who hear it suddenly mature unexpectedly. <laughs> Daniel. And Grant said, oh, hi, Dan and Fox. I didn't see you guys here. And I said, oh, thanks, Dan. And Foxy said, maybe someday I'll sing in the green room. Maybe. And Nick said, I know nothing, nothing. Daddy Jokers. And girl said, hey, yep, naughty boys. And Dan said, band camp Fridays are usually the last Friday of each month. So if you are going to purchase something from Dan musically, the best time is Fridays, the last Friday of the month. And Donna said, I look forward to it, Foxy. And Donna said, Michaela has sung in the green room. She's good. I heard her sing there. And Alex said, I'm just looking as I work on this his world history test. Ooh, I hated world history. Hopefully we are not distracting you from the test itself. And you can concentrate on the test if you need to close this so you can do well on the test. We understand. We want you to excel, Alec. And Nick said that Xander and Manda are enjoying the program. Hello, Xander and Manda. Hi, Xander. Hi, Manda. And Foxy said, you can do it, Alec. You can do it. And Michaela said, I need to make a couple ads. One PG rated and one not so much. Oh, well, you do. You really do need to get updated ads. I think the last one you had was when you only had three books out. And we know that you have skyrocketed past that. So, yes, you do need to work on an ad. <laughs> Um, and Dan said, I am aware that the fastest way to get Dawn's voice to go hy hypersonic is for Chris to enter the room. <laughs> Uh -uh. Close the wrong screen. Oh well. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I'll come back to that in a second. No. <laughs> uh, let's see. And girl said that he has sung in the green room and it wasn't pretty. Yay. And Dan said, Michaela's voice is very well suited to torch songs, but I doubt that is any sort of limit on her. I don't think Michaela has limits. She excels. And Foxy said, my voice tends towards the lower end of the scale generally. I used to wish I could hit the high notes. Now I'm fine with the low sultry thing. Exactly. Dawn, I'm going to allow you, I'm going to have you keep going through comments for just a second. I will be right back. I'm actually going to exit and come back in. Oh, Lord. Hi. Good thing you guys are talking. Let's see. Um, I, hit, I hit end stream. If you all want to know, he did hit end stream, not on our stream. Ask Nick about it sometime. Uh, and Thesis said that the other page links are fine in Chrome. So I think he's restarting and going to take a look again. So, 
um, and Mikhail said, well, thank you. In the next couple of days, I should have a day off. Maybe I'll try to make a couple ads. Sweet. And Dan said, sultry is quite nice. It is. There is nothing wrong with this sultry voice. And Trey said, you can do it, Alec. You can do it. And Carl said, maybe it's sunspots or Soviet hackers. Well, they just updated WordPress uh, to the latest version. I believe it was last week. So I'm wondering if one of the plugins that's having a compatibility issue, which I'm willing to bet it is. I wonder. It couldn't be that. It couldn't be that simple. It usually is, which is the saddest part. Um, Grant has a question for you, Joe. Yes. He's like, I'm seriously the only comic creator on there. No. However, um, he did say, uh, Grant went on to say, I could have sworn my friend Marvin Wynn signed up. Uh, no, I don't believe Marvin's ever signed up. Okay. So, Grant, check with Marvin and have a little chit-chat with him and see what's going on there. So, And Joe says, the issue is on the back end somewhere, not the green room. The site itself is fine right now, but if the autosave activates, it will save the pages as you guys are seeing it on the stream. Ooh, scary. Okay. And Donna said, you don't have to, Don. The witch that said it is dead. Okay, good. And Trey said Joe didn't offer the sacrifice to the technology. I don't know if this will suffice. And Alec, close your ears. But I have some air if you wanted to blow your technology. He's busy reading. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. I'm... Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Nick said, you know what, Joe? You did roll well at Region Con. Maybe this is karma. Thinking it might be. And McCann said, riddle me this. How does one get a sunburn on their shoulders while wearing two shirts? Depends on what the shirts were made of, because sometimes the sun can get through it. The, the UV rays can. And McCann said, or said, oh, thank you, Donna. And Joe said, which means I'm going to have to rebuild each category page individually. But I think you're still looking into that. Mm -hmm. And Foxy says, how does one burn themselves indoors? I've actually gotten a tan from this window before. And Foxy said, carefully, Michaela. Carefully. LOL. And Nick is saying that Xander says hi back. Mwah. Thesa said, I preferred world history over American history. And Donna said, I loved history. Of course, I was the history teacher's pet. It was my second fave after English, of course. And Michaela said, I preferred American history. Never much had interest in hoping, hopping the pond or studying it for that matter. All right. So, yeah, I am going to have to rebuild every category page manually. Um, just so I can start adding people in. Oh, dear. Uh, and we do only have 10 minutes left on the show before uh, Grant's show starts. So, pardon me. Where the hell did that come from? Um, so, I'd say let's go ahead and wrap up the comments. We will call it a night. I will have to do Ted's either next week or I'll get it up later this week. Yeah. I'm gonna, you know what? Hold on. Hold on a second. Just in a green room myself. I'm innocent. And, uh. But yeah, I'll, I'll get Ted's uh, profile page up later this week. And, yeah. Not sure why it happened, but it had to be after the updates because I haven't done a show since I updated this. Since I updated the site, so it has to be something with their their update to their plugin because the update came right after WordPress released their newest. So 
think. Anywho. Well, let's get through their comments. Because yeah. like when it's Grant draws is coming up pretty quick. The inside, or maybe it was Soviet sunspots. Oh, great. Carl's going to be writing, writing another story. <laughs> and next said, do your best, Alec. Turn it in for partial credit and fix it later. Why? I hate when he does that. And Foxy said that she did not care much for history in school. I learned way more out of school than I did before. I've learned a lot more, but I've also found different ways to learn it is interesting. I, I love watching the History Channel now. So. And Michaela is laughing at Foxy. And Nick said Sultry is better than High Soprano in his humble opinion. That's because you can't hear the High Soprano. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Uh, but Sultry is new, so... Uh, Foxy said, I would do my radio voice for the ad. Maybe I'll have to talk more. Yes! Talk more. And Lisa says that my voice tends to switch between Michael, Michael Bublé soft and Matt Keefe growls, depending on the day and my mood. And the conversation if it's the green room. And Foxy, Dan was telling Foxy that he learned so much more at band camp every summer than I ever did at school. I like how his fast music starts right after I said that. And Foxy said, oh no, Joe. Dan is saying, I'm so sorry, Joe. But Grant says there's a silver, silver lining. Check out Grand Draws. It starts in nine minutes. Seven minutes. <laughs> well, the, the nice thing is, is I can go through. That'll give me a chance to make sure all the authors are on there. You know, I can make sure I haven't missed anybody over time. So, and uh, Ted said, whenever, man, no hurry, Joe. <laughs> Visa says this one time at band camp. Yeah. Carl's ouchie, and Dan is LOLing at Thesis, and Trey is a Maui, and Lady Thesis says, I tried to get it up at least once or twice a day. What? Oh, don't try and act innocent. No, I really did lose that one. Huh. Foxy said that she loves to learn school wasn't kind to me. Yeah. And Thesis has said, I've tried to tell her to come join us in the green room, but she won't do it. <gasps> you should, Fox. Or, yes, Foxy, you should. Yes, you, you should. You guys are funny as hell when you're typing back and forth. So hearing you two banter, I would love to hear that more. Just saying. But uh, on that note, folks, I will see you again Wednesday night for The Burning is Love, where if that goes anything like today's show, I should be burning down the basement. Um, oh. Say that because you might have some burnt toast then. No, no, I'll, I'll make sure bread and hobo get out of the house. Okay, that was really but, bad uh, for me to say that, but I could raise it. <laughs> but uh, I mean, anything is possible. Acetone is flammable, so yes, for the record, everybody, that Joe just realized that acetone is flammable, and that's what he uses to transfer his pictures onto the wood. And then he puts a 400 degree piece of metal against it. That's fine. So. But see you Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. Central back here on the Independent Creator Directory YouTube channel. Have a great night, folks. Good night.